Director Javinsky, Director General Social Vita, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, greetings from Taipei, Jin Dobele. On behalf of the people and government of Taiwan, I'm deeply honored to join you virtually in this inauguration ceremony of the Donut Wall. Allow me to express our deepest sorrow and highest respect to the victims and survivors of the Holocaust and their families. Our thoughts and prayers are always with them. I wish to thank Director Shevinsky and Director General Sochovita for inviting me to take part in this meaningful event. I also wish to commend the Oshawa's Bicanal State Museum and Foundation for their remarkable efforts in preserving the documents and monuments of Holocaust and transforming them into influential educational materials for generations to reflect on the history. Nearly 80 years ago, dictatorship and totalitarianism saw 1.1 million people taken away from their beloved ones and sent to death in the concentration camp at Auschwitz. As we gather for this historical memory, it is our responsibility to remember the past and ensure that it will never happen again. In Taiwan, the government is devoted to undertakings to reconcile with our own past. Those who come before us have gone through tremendous hardship to establish a free and democratic Taiwan, and we fully understand how arduous and challenging the struggle for human rights could be. Hence, we are determined to enhance transitional justice, democratic principles, and human rights, not only in Taiwan, but also abroad. Following the concept of technology in the service of humanity, Taiwan is proud to be the first country to collaborate with a museum and foundation on its virtual reality program. Innovative technologies and equipment were employed to transform the sufferings of the past into highly accessible educational materials. The program ensures that the victims seven decades ago did not sacrifice in vain, as their stories will continue to be told and remembered by generations to come. Our tasks are exceptionally crucial in times when authoritarian revival gradually undermines democratic institutions we all share and cherish. I wish to reiterate Taiwan's support for the solemn missions of the Oshawa's Speaker Now Museum and Foundation. And I wish the museum and foundation every success in their future endeavors. Taiwan will continue to advocate for freedom, democracy, and human rights. And Taiwan will continue collaborating with partners around the globe to realize a better, more inclusive, and peaceful future. Thank you.